In times of austerity, it's very easy to get bogged down talking about cuts, problems, aggravation, and become quite negative. I'm very pleased to say that I'm going through, with my staff here, a very positive period where we're looking to the future to see what opportunities exist. And one of the things uh, that we're doing is considering developing a community resilience centre based upon our work here, where our social return on investment at 398% is providing a platform for a lot of conversation. We're working with the local authority, health service, King's Fund, McKinsey's, and about 25 varying academics and leading health clinicians in looking to the future as to how we might use the examples of service delivery and performance management that we've been achieving here in Anchor House to assist the wider community. These conversations are opening up some amazing thought processes with all our partners and it is finding our way through the myriad number of partnerships to develop it into a coherent one-stop approach for resilience in the community to actually enable the health service to have less calls made upon it in this time of austerity and we believe our model could actually in 15 to 20 years, if adopted, save millions, if not billions, and we will be going forward for funding of this initiative in about three, four months' time.